Hey everybody, Iceman50 here. So today we're going to be taking a uh, original Game Boy uh, DMG01, one that I've previously modified with a custom case from Kitch Bend and a, uh, a backlit screen here. And uh, let's see if it turns on. Oh yeah, you can see here it's got the blue backlit screen. Uh, we got in here Tetris. The contrast. Ah, you can hear it. The uh, the contrast on this guy is a little goofy. You can hear that there's there's something going on with the with the contrast of this one, um, the screen or, or whatever. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna put in the uh, IPS uh, screen. This is the this is a Rips V4 kit. Um, you can see it's got the the circuit board. Uh, I got this one off a of, off the of eBay. Um, it comes with everything you need. It comes with the Rips B4 circuit board, and then it comes with the uh, glass bezel, and then the driver board and the LCD and the ribbon cables, everything you need. So we got all that. Oh, and a uh, 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 L uh, LCD housing just to kind of hold this, and some uh, double stick tape, which you, which you need to stick everything down. Uh, it also comes with um, screwdrivers, which is pretty cool. Um, and along with this build, uh, my son really wanted um, a different case. So what I did is I already built one of these uh, with this case, but you can see that I've got this really cool, um, you know, you can't really see it. It looks just blue, uh, but in reality, um, get it just right you can kind of you can't quite see it but it's highly like purple and blue so we're gonna take this case and we're gonna put the guts uh, in the new one and in this kit they give you everything they give you you know the rubber pads um, screws everything I don't recommend using the uh, the battery uh, terminals that come with it I have um, kits of parts with you know I've got all the all the different spring terminals and everything I don't I don't recommend using the ones that come in in, in the case kit this one this one comes with everything you need but but I wouldn't recommend using them. this one comes with some some tools uh, I got the, I'll, I'll provide links to Amazon I got I got the case off of Amazon I got um, the uh, the rips v4 um, IPS screen uh, display mod off of eBay and then um, I bought some this is JWWYJ uh, LiPo double A's these are 1.5 volts um, these are nice they're got USB-C you plug them in recharge them and it gives you true six volts uh, which you're gonna need uh, for this guy so and I also got him a different set of batteries these are juggy uh, I got these off a of retro game repair shop. Um, these batteries are a little a little finicky. I don't know. Maybe they've been sitting around a long time. These were thirty five bucks with this this charger. Um, these guys from Amazon are twenty bucks, and it comes with a cable that has four USB C cables, and you just plug them in. These worked right away out the box. I had a little bit of trouble with these. I probably won't be buying these again um, from retro game repair shop, but. Anyways, let me uh, move the camera. We'll get this all started and we'll, we'll show you what we're gonna do. There's really not too much we have to do to mod the case, really only over by the contrast wheel. Uh, and that's about it. So we'll see you um, in a minute. All right, everybody. The first thing we're gonna do is uh, open this guy up. Take out the game. Batteries. 
question is whether or not you're perfect. Yeah, so well, I'm just going to reuse the uh, the contacts I already have in here because uh, those are good. Those are original Game Boy uh, pieces. So they give you, like I said, you get some tri rings, tri wing screwdrivers. to get all the screws out it should just easily come apart just like a regular Game Boy so uh, the first thing I always do is split the cable here so now we've got the back half from the front half right and then the inside you've got four screws for the main board you've got one here one here and then two on the audio board so you just go ahead and Take those off. And that. So now the board should be free of the rear case, right? This one, uh, I think everything is okay with this one. Like I said, there was something going on with the contrast, but I don't. Th I think it was the LCD panel, and not in this case. Um, I, I think it's this is fine. So we're going to set this one aside. Um, I am going to reuse. Uh, actually, I think that that kit comes with the. Uh, see how? Here's your back shell of the other one. It doesn't have the uh, uh, that piece. I think. Yep, they provide it in the case here. So we're gonna go ahead and, you know, we're gonna, next thing we're gonna do is install um, the board in this case, right? Here's the back side. So we're gonna put this, we'll put the, the piece in and then we'll put the board in and we'll screw everything down. So hang on a second. All right, I think we're gonna, we're gonna hang on to this one. Uh, we're just gonna uh, swap uh, the shield from the old case to the new case. So, get this out of here. Our piece is out. Here, this you can see this one I, I got from uh, Kitch Bent. Quite a while ago. Some fingerprints on here. They made some. They made some pretty nice reproduction pieces. Can't really complain. A whole lot. Okay. The only other thing we got to do is poke out the uh, these pieces. Now, if you see down in here, see there's a little tab. All you got to do is push down. On it, and it'll the tab will just push out here. See, don't forget to bend these tabs back. Um, tab, bend it out before you stick it into the new case. So there's three of those Come over here. So now this shell is empty. All right. So all I'm gonna do is, like I said, you can see these these tabs here. All you want to do is kind of push on them from underneath and get that uh, tab back into place. sure it kind of sticks up a little bit so it snaps into the next one okay this one all right just 
a little bit. You push on them too hard, you'll you'll snap them off. All right. So we've got our new case. Last thing to do is stick in the, uh, the contacts, right? So you look at the board. The board sits in here, all right? Fits in there real nice. Everything. It's a quality case. This case was only 20, 20 bucks on Amazon. Uh, really good deal. And for everything that comes with it. So when we flip this thing over, you can see we start with a with a spring. So the, we want uh, a flat, right? There is one like this, I believe. It goes in here, snaps in, okay? Then we do, uh, let's look at another one here. So you wanna do the opposite. Uh, so, this one was a spring, no spring, spring. Ah, see, I almost screwed it up. No spring. All right? Spring. No spring. Okay, spring, and then the last one. I got a little bit of some crusties down here. We'll uh, I'll clean that off. Yeah, you can see the terminal's a little corroded. I'll go get a brass brush and we'll clean that off. Hang on. If uh, these don't clean up too well, I do have some spares uh, coming anyways. So we'll just go ahead and carefully clean this. I think uh, kitchbent.com also has some that used to be my go-to source. So you can see, it looks pretty good now. So we'll go ahead and get this put in. All right. Okay, turn this guy over. Drop them in. Now, what we can't forget up here before you go and drop this in if you're replacing the case is the, uh, is the switch. So they give us all these bags here. This comes with um, black buttons. He wants um, the actual Game Boy Color buttons, uh, which I have some of those in my uh, box of stuff over here. Let's open this up. Um, we can go with the, I like the black. I got a black switch, I got the gray switches. Um, Maybe with this case, we're gonna go with the we're gonna go with the black switch. So you just pull this back, right, and then um, this just sits down in the in the groove here, right? It drops in like that. See, it's got the little little tab drops right down in there slides back and forth, right? So in the off position, the switches is, is to the left. So make sure that when you do this, that you push this to the left. And there's there's little plastic pieces in there that capture the uh, switch. So when you drop it in there, just make sure you get it in the right place, right? And then we will put the, uh, the screws back in it. So we can see that uh, our switch moved a little bit up here. So lift up on this and there you go. Now, 
we can see the switch moving the switch on the Game Boy there. Okay. So you want to keep the wires away from these holes over here because that's where the um, screws go through for the back case. Let's uh, let's loosen this one up again and we'll make sure that the wires are out of the way. So one of the things that we have to do to fit this mod is we have to remove this very top ledge of plastic. It's, it interferes with the contrast uh, wheel, the uh, secret button contrast wheel. Um, so what we do is we just take a X-Acto knife and just kind of come in here and, you know, whittle this away here. Slowly, always cut away from yourself. Especially with a fresh brand new blade. And we're just gonna keep doing this until it's flush. Until that piece is flush with the rest of the case. All right, so now it's totally, it's totally flat. You can see where I've done that. Uh, what I did is since this is a, a blue, I just grabbed some some nail polish that was pretty close to the same color. And we're just gonna, we're gonna go over it. So that way, if you happen to look from the side of this that you don't see a little white uh, standing out. So just uh, shape up your polish here. Okay. And then this one's called Midnight Affair. It pretty closely matches the case. So we're just gonna lightly over it, cover up any any white that's left, and that's it. You can see it's at least it's not uh, white anymore, right? We'll let this dry. You see what I did there? Just covered over it. We'll let that dry, and then uh, we're pretty much done uh, over here, anyways. So again, make sure if you're messing with this that you. Uh, you get your board there we go. sitting down in there. Everything's in place, switch works. So just set this aside. You know, if you do it on a regular Game Boy, the plastic will all be the same color. It's just because this happens to be a, a colored uh, Or You can see down there, look, you can see some of the, the purple depending on the angle. This whole case does that. So it's pretty neat. So now we can set this aside and we can start working on the uh, on the front here. Um, technically, we don't even need, the only thing you really need is um, the speaker um, from the old Game Boy. You don't need anything else on this board. We're not even gonna use this. We, Like I said, we got all the contacts and everything. So I'm just gonna set this one aside. Uh, this one happens to have a backlight set up in it. And I even bought uh, some new speakers. Let me find those and I'll show you guys, hang on. All right, here's the little, um, Aftermarket speakers, these are supposed to be nicer, that I got from Retro Game Repair Station. Comes in a little, <laughs> little case. You got your, your speaker. So all we gotta do is make sure that we uh, we get a solder this onto the screen. I'll, uh, I'll take you over the screen board. I'll take you over to the soldering iron and we'll show you where this goes, all right? Hang on. All right, so I don't, I don't know what you put in here, what you save it for, you know, something. Maybe put your ibuprofen in here. Remember, don't do that because uh, <laughs> you might get busted by the cops. So uh, I'd probably just throw this away unless you want to save it at home for something. All right, everybody. I use a uh, Heiko FX951 with a, uh, I got a ton of different tips. Uh, this guy heats up in about 10 seconds. So... All we're gonna do, now on these speakers, um, they usually sit kinda like this in the Game Boy. There's a notch, you, you can see it, it's right here, a little, little nub that sits there. So all we're gonna do is uh, you put this in one of the holes and uh, kinda set it down. 
where we can both see. Usually what I like to do is um, just tin up the two traces here, just the two pads. Just put some solder on that pad, some solder on that pad, like that. And then uh, you can see I already kind of had this one in the hole, but basically just get it close, take your fingers, and then just kind of Heat it up and push up at the same time with your fingers from the back here. There you go. Now you know it's in there. Okay, and we do the same thing for the other one. Put it in the hole. And that's it. So now both your, your uh, stuff soldered in. Go ahead and we'll turn this off and we'll go back to the, uh, we'll go back to the table hanging out. The other thing that we have to do is this screen, this hole, is set up for an original Game Boy. What we have to do is we have to take and we have to cut away on three sides right here. We gotta trim right along here, all the way down. Usually what I do is try to cut out with what's left at the notch here. So we're gonna we're gonna trim it, you know, right here all the way across and here and here. So we're gonna set this down, all right? And we're gonna cut into this. I, I usually use these uh, kind of these are jewelry pliers or whatever, you know, they're kind of flat all the way. They don't come to a point so that you then you just take and you kind of come over here right where you've been scoring and just bend down. See how I'm doing that? We're just bending it where we scored it, right? doesn't have to be perfect. Um, we just need room for the extra screen so you can see it. Right. You can see from the front what we're doing here. You just take your time, clean this up, get this looking nice. Again, we won't we won't see it because uh, it's going to be underneath the bezel. But you would happen to you would see the plastic if we didn't uh, cut this amount off once we put on the the bezel screen. And then I'll show you what we do uh, afterwards. All right. Then what I do is. And make it, you know, in the, in the, in, if you're using uh, a regular Game Boy case, you, you know, you won't notice. But in this case, since it's blue, you, you know, once we put this on, I didn't want, you know, to see any kind of white. This plastic is kind of more of a whitish color than a than a uh, gray. So again, we're gonna take our nail polish here. This is what I did on the last one, and we're just gonna take and we're gonna come in here. it up all right now we let that dry for a little while and then we'll come back and we'll uh, put the screen and, and the buttons and everything in here and we'll we'll move to the next step we'll see you in a little while when this is dry all right so everything is uh, is now dry okay and uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna test the uh, the screen here. Mm -hmm. Put them in here. Okay. Like so. Not 
put our cover on. Right. We're gonna get out our screen bits. Should be here somewhere. Here it is. See that it comes with this nice glass screen that looks original. Okay, here's the here's the screen itself. We've got the ribbon cable. This plugs into the back um, of the uh, excuse me the board here over here. This goes in here. So we've got this that uh, plastic piece I showed you earlier. Here we go. So we got our our screen. Uh, this holds the screen, and then you you put the screen in here, and you flip it over. There's a cutout here. You can see that for the display. So this goes over in the corner, kind of like this here, and then it folds around like this. And this is where you're going to put two pieces of. A tape on there to hold it hold it in so obviously the front part is where the buttons are right so the screen has to be on this side so there's a cutout for the ribbon cable all right we flip this over so in this case you want the the blue pointing up now this is you got to be careful these are one of these lever lock type connectors so you open it up and then slide it in Like so, and then you push the lever lock down, and then we're gonna slide this over like that, and it's gonna sit like this, okay? Yeah, don't forget, <laughs> because of the magnet on these things, you will pick up screws, so be careful that you don't leave screws sitting on the, uh, on the speaker. Shit. speaker. my uh, plastic piece there. Let's, uh, let's get these off of here. Okay. All right, so this, uh, this screen holder goes down on these tabs. We make sure that everything Fits, should it just kind of slides down on there, right? Kind of like, kind of like that. Okay, you can see the screen kind of will go in between here. It sits in between here and here, right? So the holes are a little tight. I have a, um, I have a little reamer. Hang on, I'll show you. We'll open this up just so it sits in there. Uh, a little bit better, hang on. All right, what I use for a lot of stuff is this uh, dynamite body reamer. It's meant for RC cars. Um, and I'm just gonna open up these holes just the tiniest bit. Okay, kind of like that. All right, just gonna slowly go in there. Make sure you take out any pieces of plastic that may be left over. Okay. You see that it's sitting pretty flush against there. So now we're gonna we're gonna wait for a second. Like I said, we're gonna test the screen. Okay. So you need your your ribbon cable here, right? And just like the real Game Boy um, this is where the display ribbon connects in. Okay, so you just very carefully push this in. And then this is the tricky bit. Is you gotta get this in here. Alright. So everything should be set. 
um, what we should see when we turn this on is a logo. There we go. Okay. Did you hear that? All right, so looks like everything's working. Screen's fine. We're gonna put a game in to verify. See, we got the Nintendo. And there we go, we've got, we've got uh, Tetris. So now we just gotta put this, put this in. Oh, here, so you can see this, here's the, uh, button on the side like I said it's like a secret button this will change between the color palettes and the the uh, here's your contrast All right, we can turn it up and then we can push it you get red this is the one I like it's like a multicolor there's like a green darker green blue darker blue purple and then kind of like a black and white that's kind of my favorite it kind of looks like a Game Boy Color screen. There you go. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this put into the um, the front case of this guy, and then we'll we'll go from there. Hang on. Peel it off. And now we're just gonna set this in till it drops in. And then we're just gonna very carefully. Push down on it. You see now it's not coming apart. So we've made one full assembly. Now the one thing you can't forget is once you're ready to put this in there, is you got to peel this uh, cover off, right? So when you're doing this stuff, try not to touch any part of the screens, uh, the pieces. Um, you can see this has got a protective covering on it. So what we're gonna do is you got to get underneath. Here, that's obviously the cutout for the, the glass. And you want to make sure that everything comes off. There's, and whatever you do, don't touch the inside of this, right? So now that we got that, now we can come to the edge here. up on this uh, adhesive covering. Okay, got that. Like I said, just make sure you don't touch the uh, the glass on the inside. I'm just gonna peel this back a little bit. We don't want this getting caught in the way. I'm gonna stick this down. Okay. So we got the front case here. So we're just gonna stick it down, run our finger across it. Okay. All right. You see, I've left the protective coating in the front of this. Like I said, since it's glass, it you won't hurt it. But there we go. Now we've got our screen, and what we're going to do is the screen goes um, like this. All right, so make sure you get it down to the bottom of this tray when you do this, right? And then we're going to have to do the same thing over here. I disconnected the. Uh, See, you've got the little ribbon cable for the screen here. We're gonna have to move the board down slightly too. Okay, everything looks good. Very carefully pull this out of here. We're gonna peel off the backing for the LCD here. Okay. And we're gonna set this back in here. So. The next thing to do is uh, we're going to put on our uh, our buttons and pieces, 
and then we'll move forwards uh, inserting the screen in there. So instead of black buttons, he wants uh, OEM Nintendo buttons, which I have two of those. The, uh, the up, down, left, right arrows, they come in black anyway, so he wanted the purple and the black. So we're gonna go ahead and set in the, uh, the pad there. Everything looks good from this side. So we're gonna go ahead and set this in here like this. Now, like I said before, um, there's a little, little notch here. That notch has to go in that slot. So you turn the, turn the speaker until the notch fits in the slot. I think there's only four screws. Um, I think, yeah, one, two, three, four, I think. You don't put any, none of the screws go on the top because you'll smash right through the, uh, what you call it there. So, the display. These are what we're going to put back in our board. Just want to take your time, go slow. So that should hold the buttons in. Let's see where those other. I think the other two screw holes are right, right here. Make sure you use the screws that came out of them or the ones that are provided. Otherwise, they'll be too long and you'll come through the uh, the front of your Game Boy. All right, everything's looking good. Buttons feel like they're working. Everything feels good there. Okay. So the next step is to, to marry, oh, and don't forget to make sure your speaker gets in the right place. Next step is just to marry everything together, right? So, we've got our, oh, yeah, don't forget to plug in your little, your little cable here. It just kind of goes. Get that up. I have to use glass, uh, magnifying glasses, because I can't see. Flip the lever down. Should be good to go. It's what they call a zero inf uh, insertion force socket, a zip socket. Good. All you see is black in there. Hit the screen. Start works. A, A, enter. So that's it uh, for installing the IPS Rips V4. Um, we can go ahead and Turn this off and uh, we're gonna go ahead and close this whole thing up and uh, I'll show you afterwards and I'm also going to show you the something else that I got it's called the easy flash junior that allows us to um, put any of your backed up and stored ROMs onto a cartridge and you can play all the backups of the games you own so hang on a second I'll bring it back. all right everybody I got all the uh, screws and everything back in batteries so the uh, Here's how it looks. You got your up, down, left, right. You got your A, B, select start. You got your, your power switch here. I added a link port cover. 
and uh, the only things left are to add on a, I, can get, I got a reproduction serial number and the Nintendo uh, customer service sticker that goes over here that'll be coming shortly so we can go ahead and peel off the uh, protective cover here okay and we can turn it on it's not a bad install you just take your time and uh, let's show you the uh, like I said you can't you can't see it from the edge it just looks all black which is good we can see the whole screen there is on-screen menus to um, you can move the position of this all around um, it, this like I said it's the secret button here see so if you push it you get the different colors right and if you push and hold that's where you get your secret menus right so um, and hold it'll disappear let's show you the uh, easy flash junior cart so you can see that this is tetris right we've got it right over here here's the uh, easy flash junior just takes a um, micro sd card plug it in all right turn it on it says nintendo and then it says easy flash loading and you can see it says battery dry or whatever i don't know why it says that but here you can see that we've got tetris plus here super rc program go ahead and start that up and like i said we can change the colors right I like that one. All right. So that's it. That's how to install the uh, RIPS V4 LCD in a custom case along with the Easy Flash Junior. Uh, I'm going to be doing a couple more here soon. So we'll see you on the next one. All right. Easy.